Epoch time, also known as Unix time or POSIX time, is a system for describing instants of time defined as the number of seconds since January 1st, 1970. Many applications and operating systems use this format to store timestamps on their data. For instance, I've connected Spotfire to the Boston Hubway Bike Share Program's API showing the number of available bikes and available docks at each station. Each record has a timestamp stored in epoch of the last time that it was updated and the last time that this station communicated with the server. This might be great for computers, but most people aren't used to representing a date and time as a string of numbers. So let's take a look at how we might convert this to a date-time format in Spotfire. In this case, we'll go to Insert, Transformations. We'll use Calculate and Replace column. And then we'll select the column we want to replace. This time, we'll do last column with server. Now, here's the formula. You can either see in milliseconds or in seconds, we can convert epoch time to date time format. I'll select which column is being replaced and with the new column name, which is just going to be the exact same name. I'll give it a preview. You can see it converted everything properly. And then I'll press OK. And then right there, you can actually see that the column now is something that you can read as a human rather than just a string of numbers. We can do the same thing with the last update column. We'll pick our column, apply our formula using the Spotfire expression language, and make sure we're replacing the correct column, and press OK. Now that we've done this, we have all of the same capabilities that Spotfire normally has for handling dates. For instance, calculating the difference between two different dates, and then seeing which of these stations are providing the oldest information. For instance, you can see the data that we have at the O'Neill Library is almost three hours old. Support for epoch time conversion is one of the many functions that Spotfire's expression language includes to make exploring data easier. You can try Spotfire yourself by going to spotfire.tibco.com. Let us know any questions or feedback in the comments, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.